Barracuda is one of a series of law enforcement tools offered by Stop State to assist law enforcement agencies in stopping or preventing vehicle pursuits. In this video course, you will learn the methods of deployment for Barracuda. Your safety and the safety of others are very important. Watch for these symbols during the video. They indicate important safety messages to alert you to potential hazards and instruct you on how to avoid or reduce the hazard. Barracuda is a multi-use tire deflation device capable of deflating the tires of cars, trucks, buses, and tractor trailers quickly and safely. To better understand how Barracuda works, let's take a closer look at its construction. Each Barracuda is three feet long and weighs three pounds. It is comprised of components and sub-assemblies, including 11 black polypropylene shrouds to allow easy handling and camouflage to the surface, 11 Teflon-coated hardened steel quills, each 3 8 inch in diameter and 2 inches long, 11 cartridges keyed for fail-proof installation, a 36-inch ABS plastic base, two rollover end caps that hold the cartridge in the base and facilitate proper deployment, one loop connector for attaching to a cord reel or lanyard, and two fastening screws. Accessories include a reusable nylon sleeve that can hold up to three barracudas, a cord reel with 80 feet of 150 pound test woven polyester line and a lanyard with a five foot cord. Barracuda training materials are intended to supplement the current pursuit policy of your agency. Those procedures, including when and how to deploy Barracuda, supersede any written or verbal instructions from Stopstake. Always plan ahead for the use of Barracuda in pursuits by determining in advance the most suitable and safest locations for deployment. Before deploying Barracuda, consider these safety and tactical warnings that appear on every Barracuda label. Since Barracuda is designed to deflate tires more rapidly than a stop stick, it should not be deployed on a passenger vehicle traveling in excess of 25 miles per hour. If a driver loses control of a vehicle and crashes, serious or fatal injuries may result. Never deploy Barracuda if you believe the location or circumstances of your pursuit make it unsafe to do so. Deflating tires increases the risk a driver may lose control of the vehicle, resulting in serious or fatal injuries. Do not use this device without proper training. And never use tire deflation devices on motorcycles or vehicles with fewer than four wheels. Safety is always the most important factor in a pursuit. Avoid deploying Barracuda in areas with heavy traffic, or in populated areas, or locations with pedestrians nearby. To reduce the risk of serious or fatal injuries resulting from a vehicle crash, use extreme caution when pursuits reach excessive speeds or fleeing suspects appear to be under the influence of drugs or alcohol or similar impairments which may increase the risk of losing control of the vehicle. And always move to a safe location after deploying Barracuda. In addition to planning ahead by determining in advance the safest locations for deployment, there are also tactical considerations. Place yourself well out of the way of the pursuit, in a pre-planned location where you can find substantial cover. Deploy Barracuda so that a suspect has a limited ability to avoid striking the device. If using Barracuda near an intersection, deploy just before entering the intersection on the road the target vehicle is traveling. Deploy before reaching any driveways or parking lots near the intersection. Deploying just after an intersection, driveway, or parking lot allows the target vehicle to turn and avoid Barracuda. 
When deploying, remember that barracudas cannot be pushed over ground that they have already been pulled over. Because of its versatility, barracuda can be deployed on most surfaces, including pavement or concrete, soft ground, gravel, or sand. There are five suggested methods to deploy one or more barracudas. Regardless of the method used, always advise pursuing units when and where barracuda is being deployed. And always move to a safe location after deploying barracuda. The primary recommended method of deployment is preloading, because it offers the officer more safety, while also containing barracudas in their sleeve after they've been struck. Preload three barracudas in the nylon sleeve. With a cord reel attached to the sleeve, place the loaded sleeve in the selected storage area until needed. At the time of need, remove the sleeved barracudas from the storage area using the red sleeve handles. Place the sleeved barracudas on the ground and unlock the cord reel. Then, while holding the unlocked cord reel, safely move to the opposite side of the road while allowing the cord reel to dispense as you change location. Once the sleeved barracudas are on the opposite side of the road, position yourself in a safe location for the impending deployment. While waiting for the target vehicle to arrive, reel in any slack in the cord reel. Keep the cord line flat on the road surface, allowing non-target vehicles to drive over the dispensed cord without interfering with the impending deployment of the sleeved barracudas. Lock the cord reel and hold the cord reel while waiting for the target vehicle. Do not wrap the cord around any portion of your body. Before pulling the sleeve barracudas into position, be sure there are no other vehicles between the target vehicle and the point of deployment. Then, as the target vehicle approaches, pull the sleeved barracudas into the path of the target vehicle. Keep in mind that the target vehicle's driver may try to take evasive action to avoid striking the sleeved barracudas, so be sure you have positioned yourself in a safe location while using your peripheral vision to monitor approaching traffic. Do not wait until the last possible second to deploy barracuda, since rushed deployments can be dangerous and may fail to deflate the target vehicle's tire. After the sleeved barracudas have been struck, carefully step backward with the cord reel in hand to remove the sleeved barracudas from the roadway. The other four methods of deployment presume that barracuda is stored without being preloaded into a sleeve. The tossing method should be used when the time of deployment versus the time of impact is imminent. When you toss a barracuda, it should land perpendicular to the target vehicle. The rollover end caps will ensure the proper side of Barracuda is facing the road surface. Use extreme caution with this method of deployment, keeping in mind that the driver of the target vehicle may take evasive action to avoid striking Barracuda. Another method of deployment used when adequate time is available is placing. Place one or more Barracudas end-to-end -end in the path of the target vehicle. Use this method only when you have determined that no other vehicles are traveling between the target vehicle and the point of impact with Barracuda. Also, use extreme caution when removing Barracuda from the roadway after it has been hit. Do not enter the roadway if pursuing vehicles have not passed. When a target vehicle is stationary, use a lanyard with Barracuda. This will allow retrieval of the device without taking your eyes off the occupants of the vehicle. The preferred location for stationary deployment is between the front and rear tires of the stationary target vehicle. You can also place Barracuda ahead of a front tire or behind a rear tire. The tactical tossing method is used when the target vehicle cannot be safely approached. Attach the cord reel to the loop connector on the Barracuda. Unlock the cord reel and toss Barracuda into position between the front and rear tires of the target vehicle. Lock the cord reel. If Barracuda has been thrown past the vehicle tire, pull Barracuda into the correct position. If Barracuda lands short of the target vehicle, retrieve and redeploy it. Do not use the cord reel to reel in Barracuda. This action could cause the line to bind inside the cord reel, 
which could prevent the line from being properly dispensed. When you rewind the cord, do it with minimal tension on the line so it won't become bound inside the cord reel. After deploying Barracuda, position yourself in a safe location, away from the point of contact between the target vehicle and the deployed Barracuda. Remember to use caution when removing Barracuda from the road. Do not enter the roadway if pursuing vehicles have not passed. Handle Barracuda carefully, since it may break open after being struck by a vehicle, exposing sharp spikes. If Barracuda has been struck by the target vehicle, reloading with new cartridges is a cost-effective option that allows you to use Barracuda time and time again. Be careful when handling, as Barracuda contains sharp spikes. Never bend this device or push spikes through the housing. Read and follow the reload instructions when replacing spent cartridges. Do not attempt to repair or disassemble spike cartridges. To reload, first inspect Barracuda to determine which parts must be replaced. Obtain the parts you need from the HIT kit. There should be 10 cartridges and 2 end caps in the HIT kit. Contact Stopstick by phone or email to order a Barracuda HIT kit if no replacement cartridges are available. Hold Barracuda upside down and position the end without the cord reel loop connector closest to you. The end with the loop connector does not come off the base. Place one thumb into the release hole at the base of Barracuda, near the end cap, and push the locking tab down as far as it will go. While depressing the locking tab, pull the end cap in an outward direction. You may need to wiggle the end cap while pulling. Once the end cap is off, put it aside and turn Barracuda right side up. Slide the used cartridges out the opened end. Discard these and insert new cartridges by sliding them into the base. Match the groove on the cartridge with the tab on the base to ensure correct installation. For your own safety, be sure not to disassemble any of the sealed cartridge units. Once the cartridges are replaced, insert the end cap you removed earlier into the end slot making sure the locking tab locks into place. Your Barracuda is now reloaded and ready for deployment. If Barracuda was not struck by any vehicle, inspect it for damage and return it to your selected storage area for the next deployment situation. With reasonable care, your Barracuda will be ready to aid you in preventing or terminating a pursuit that creates a hazard to you and the public. To be sure your Barracuda is ready for use, store it in a location that is easily accessible for rapid deployment. Keep Barracuda separate from other equipment to prevent damage to Barracuda or to what impacted it. Risk management experts say that the greatest risk to our safety and those around us occurs when we are doing the most dangerous tasks that we are required to do, and when these tasks are also things we do the least often. But with the use of ongoing training, pre-planning, and frequent practice, you may be able to decrease the heightened dangers of high-risk, low-frequency activities. Barracuda provides a viable alternative to extended vehicle pursuits that endanger you, the public, and the fleeing suspect.